Hey guys, it's Fedor with 3D Print SOS. So a new firmware version was just released for the Vox Lab Aquila 3D printer. There's a couple of tricky steps you gotta take to get it done, so I wanted to show you how to do it so you don't run into the same problems I did. All right, to get started, I'll see you at the computer. First thing you wanna do is take the SD card out of your printer, and we're gonna put it in to our computer. It's gonna open up a folder. So regardless of what's in here, if you want whatever is on your card, I suggest you move it to your desktop to save it. Otherwise, we're gonna right click on the actual drive and we're gonna go to Format. Under Format, we're not gonna change anything except for allocation unit size. You have to make sure that this is 4096 bytes. That's the important part. Once you have that selected, you can uh, rename it. I named mine Aquila. And we're gonna go ahead and start. It's gonna tell you that it's going to erase everything on the card. That's okay. Format complete. There we go. So we're gonna hit close. Let's see if we can open that back up just to make sure. Okay, folder's nice and empty. All right, so we're gonna open our browser and we're gonna to head to voxlab3dp.com. When you head to the website and you get here, you can go to support in the main navigation to download center. And on the very top here, we have the Aquila 1.2.1 and DWIN set files. So the first part, uh, the 1.2.1 is the firmware for the actual 3D printer. And then the DWIN set is a folder with some assets that has to go on your display. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and download this. There, uh, you see it downloading to my desktop here. And once it's done, we can go ahead and close this and you're going to unzip this and it's going to give you two files. It's gonna give you the D1 set folder and the Aquila firmware. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select both of them and I'm gonna drag them onto our uh, SD card. But there's one more step here. You wanna right click into your card, go to new, go to folder and name it firmware, all lowercase. And take that bin file, the Aquila version 1.2.1, and we're gonna drag that into the firmware folder. So on your SD card, you should have the DWIN set uh, folder full of assets, and then also the firmware folder with the Aquila bin uh, firmware file. Once you have that, we can right click, we hit eject, and there you go. Now we're done with the SD card, and let's head back to the printer. You're going to need two things. That SD card that we prepped, uh, your screwdriver, and come over here to your display. The reason why I say to your display is because we actually take, have to take this off and get to the back of it where we're going to be inserting this SD card in part two. So first, let's go ahead and pop this open. I'm gonna pry from the left. And you hear a click, turn it around, and simply unhook. And there's one, two, three, four, uh, little Phillips uh, screws here. Let's go ahead and undo them. There we go. One more. All right, and to get this open, you kind of have to prop this up a little bit with your thumb, and it should come undone. There we go. Set it off to the side. All right, so here's your display, and here's where there's an SD slot. So for, for the first part here, let's go ahead and plug the display in and just set it down. We're gonna take that SD card and put it in the printer. And let's go ahead and turn it on. So what this is gonna do is gonna take that firmware file, it's gonna install it on the printer. And you'll see on the display here, there should be a bar, there we go. And after a couple seconds, you'll see a green check mark appear at the top. There we go. And we're back in. And you might not see these icons, and I'll show you why. But anyway, once this goes back in the menu, we're gonna go ahead and turn the printer off. Wait for it to fully kick off. Let's go ahead and take our display, flip it back, take the SD card, and we're gonna slide it in here. Take your time. And here, there's that click. Keep everything plugged in, set it down. Now we're gonna turn the printer on again. This time, it's going to use that folder with the assets to install them on our actual display. And you're gonna see the screen go blue. That's good, that means everything's installing and fine. And when it goes red, that means is everything is done and set up correctly. So 
let's give it a couple seconds. There you go. Everything is done. So now we can go ahead and power the printer off. There we go. Go in the back. Remove the SD card. And we're going to double check to make sure everything is normal. And uh, I'm going to go, to go ahead and turn the printer on. There we go. We have our custom load screen there. Let's go to info. And here I see version 1.2.1. So we are on the latest firmware. I'm not going to go into the details of what, of what the changes were in this firmware. There are a couple little neat things. However, I wanted this to be a general video on how to install firmware on the Vox Lab Aquila 3D printer. All right, so go ahead and uh, put the back of the display back on, pop the display back on its, its mount, and you are good. You're set, you're on the latest firmware. Like I mentioned, I wanted this to be a general uh, up update uh, firmware video uh, because I'm hoping that uh, they're going to be continuously updating the Aquila 3D printer with firmware and features and uh, making it a better and better value. But there you go. Uh, hopefully that's helped you. If it did, give this a thumbs up. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Um, you know, if you find somebody that uh, could use this, send them uh, this link and uh, you know help them out as well. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.